Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Today I'm using Fusion 360 to create this round diamond shape. So I have a diamond cut proportion diagram here. This is um, the sizes I'm going to use. You can search your diamond cut proportions on Google and you can find different cut sizes for what you need. So let's have a look at model here. We will make the diamond from a solid cylinder shape and then we'll do we go in we cut each of these faces to make the diamond as it was grind from the um, actual material. So let's go ahead and create a new design. I'm going to turn on layout grid. So I'm create a uh, sketch on the top plane. Let's create a circle on the origin. My diamond diameter is 100. And I'll go solid extrude down. I'll put minus 60. So let's have a look at the diagram. So the diameter is 100, the height is 60, the top face is 55. Alright, now we're going to go draw the top face. We go sketch, I'll go create a circle, and it's 55 here. I'm going to draw two lines diag diagonal here. So this top face has uh, it's an octagon shape i'll go coincidence align this with the center point this one here as well so we're going to go dimension all right to dimension the angle would turn on the origin here the origin has the axis and the, the faces so we go click here actually let's go dimension again Make sure you select the red axis, put 45 here, select the red axis, 45 here, and we go in here and we draw in the eight, um, the eight sides of an octagon. So press escape, go out of the line tool. Let's move these out so it's nice and neat. Okay, so we've got to finish. All right, so next step we're going to create this two plane for this line and this line. It's 15.5 from the top and two, two mil from the from from the plane you created. So we go offset plane, I'll hold left click to bring out different things you can pick. I'll click the X, Z plane, I'll put minus 15.5 and here I'll create another offset plane. Hold left click and we want to click, click uh, plane one, which is the new plane, I'll put minus two. Great. Now we're going to create a sketch on the side view, which is this plane. Okay, so X wide plane. All right, now we're going to go and project a number of things. We'll go project here. And I'll switch on home view. I'll click on this edge. We'll go back to right view. And you need to hold left click here to pick the plane behind. Hold left click here as well. I'll project both of, both of that, we'll click OK and the items we have are there OK, now we go in line click on the projected line there I'll make this align with that make that align with that and I'll make this I'll just put it there for now I'll make the line go all the way left and I'll make it go up and go back 
So just go and code coincidence constraints. I'll make this one align with that. I'll make this coincident with the green axis and I'll go in dimension. I'll put a dimension to be 50. This will line up with that. And I'll put a dimension here as well. Make that 70. I'll go in coincidence again. I'll make this align with the planes. And they'll be fully constrained because it's all black. Okay, now I'm going to go extrude. I'll select this close shape we created and I'll drag this out. We'll make it symmetrical and I'll make it go all the way through, make it cut. So that's a cut. Now we'll go to pattern that around circular pattern. Make sure you switch to feature pattern. We'll select the, the feature there. And the axis is the green axis. And we'll make it cut around eight times. So that's the first cut. So we pattern around that eight times. Let's go back to home. All right, next there's a triangle shape here. We need to cut that shape. So we go sketch, click on this face, and we'll put in a point. We'll put in a point here on this edge. And I'll put in a dimension so, so it can be exactly how much you want. I'll put that six. All right, so we have a point there. With that, we go construct, and we're going to create a plane going through this free point. We go OK. So we're going to draw in a circle on this new plane, and it will cut a triangle there. So we draw a circle here, and I'll go solid, extrude, I'll pick this circle, let's go home, and just drag the arrow up so we want that to be cutting, I'll make it go through all, we'll click OK, so that did a cut and created a triangle there, so we'll just pattern that around 8 times, so we'll pick the cut feature, pick the axis, and make that go around eight times so that's the triangle cut there all right next step we are going to create a triangle cut here all right with this step we need to draw a sketch on this plane here so if you have left click we pick plane one and I'll project in this curve here and I'll place two points. Point is here, we'll put a point here and here. And so this line should be going from here to here. And I'll go in to create a plane through three points. I'll pick those three points, click OK, and we have our plane, and we'll go and create a sketch on that new plane. I'll draw a circle there to create a cut to make a triangle there. So I can go to solid here and click extrude, pick the circle. I'll go back to three quarter view and drag this up make it go through all and make it cut so so we have a cut there and we can also mirror that to the other side object we'll select the feature here and then click on the mirror plane which is the right plane all right so i did a cut here and also here and now we'll just need to pattern that around with the circular pattern Sele select the extrude feature Pick the axis here, make that go around eight times. 
And we're going to do that one more time for, for the mirror feature. So we go create. Okay, so we click, click the mirror feature here. S select the axis. Make, it, make that go around eight times. And the top part is finish. And we'll just go in and do the bottom part. And that'll be it. So I'll create a sketch on this plane. And I'll place a point roughly there. I'll go in dimension. I'll dimension from that point to this point. I'll make that 38. I'll go finish. And we've got to do another sketch on this plane here. If you hold left click, we can select that plane and we'll go and project, project in this edge and also place two points, one point here, one point here. We'll go finish. All right, so just look at this closely. So we just project in this curve here, touching the bottom of the damner. All right, we'll go in and draw in a plane through three points. We go OK and we go create a sketch on that new plane and we'll draw a big circle to cover all that area. We go finish and extrude, click on that, drag this arrow that way so we know it's cutting and we do a cut. So we have a cut there. We'll go mirror, mirror that cross, select this feature, pick the right plane, mirror plane, this one. We go OK. And so we're nearly done. We just pattern that around and we're done. So we we'll go in pattern, circular pattern, select the extrude feature, click the green axis. Okay, make sure you select your feature there and make that go around eight times. And do that again for the mirror feature. Select the mirror feature, click the axis, and make it go, go around eight times. And we're pretty much done. Let's go home view and I'll hide the origin sketches, construction planes. And there you go, we have our diamond. I'll just give it a material, go rendering, I will pick, I'll get aluminium, um, yeah, you can pick what material you like, so I'll pick that one, I'll turn off the grid view and you can see the result. So that's the diamond there. Looks spot on. The bottom looks like that. The top looks like that. There you go. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Check out more of my videos. Have a nice day. Bye bye.